Boy, Mother Nature just wreaked havoc on parts of the metro during last week's rain and storms, and that includes at Cherry Creek State Park. Colorado Parks and Wildlife officials say the park received six inches of rain over a three day period. And listen to this water levels at the reservoir. They have risen 10 feet wow. since Wednesday. Denver 7's Amy Wattis live at the park tonight. And Amy, you saw that damage today. Yeah, I saw all of this damage and we're here right now here at East Lakeview Park at Cherry Creek State Park and I want to show you these two. I, I'm calling them sinkholes. They look like sinkholes here in the road. They're both buckled and the the road is essentially washed away from all of the rain that we saw over the last few days. Now barricades are up on both sides of this road so no one can drive through. Colorado Parks and Wildlife say the road was under about three feet of water when all of this rain came down and it could take months before this road is back open. So I need a safe place to train and walk and this is a good place. Just Pam Jones is training to walk the Camino de Santiago in August, a 500 mile trail that goes through Spain. So she's using the trails at Cherry Creek State Park to get ready. Because this is a very popular, busy park. And with summer right around the corner, Jones is hoping this stretch of East Lakeview Road gets fixed soon. The road sustained major damage after heavy rains pummeled the area at the end of last week. The water carved out two big sinkholes, buckling and breaking the road apart. This is what we call a 100 year uh, flood event. And when we have those, you know, normal, normal things just don't handle that type of force that Mother Nature puts on us. Park manager Jason Trujillo says Colorado Parks and Wildlife hasn't seen damage this bad since the early 1980s. In fact, CPW says the road was just resurfaced a few months ago. This road has been here for a long time. Minor patches have been done, but never to this extent. Saying repairs could likely take months. While Cherry Creek got the worst of it, CPW says Castlewood Canyon is dealing with its own mess. They have some trails that are still closed and the footbridges are impassable at the moment. They're still assessing what those look like because the level of water hasn't receded from the park. Hi folks, this area is closed, so if you could go back, we'd appreciate it. So until things are cleaned up and reopened, CPW is asking people to keep their distance. We have things closed off for their protection um, and so that we can make sure that we're assessing the safety of all of the parks. Pam Jones is remaining hopeful. Well, maybe they can come up with a better drainage idea. Fingers crossed for them. Now this road isn't the only part of the park affected by all of the rain that we saw. The east and west boat ramps are also shut down due to flooding. Now CBW tells me that they are talking with experts to figure out how to get these uh, sinkholes repaired here in the future. And of course we will keep you updated and let you know when this road is reopened. We are live at Cherry Creek State Park. Amy Wattis, Denver 7, back Cherry to you guys. Cherry Creek and Castle Canyon, both so beautiful. Let's hope we get those fixed soon. Thanks, Amy.